And the net result of your efforts, and of course with the, of the vaccine rollout, is that I can today confirm that from Monday the 12th of April we will move to step two of our roadmap. Reopening shops, gyms, zoos, holiday campsites, personal care services like hairdressers, and of course beer gardens and outdoor hospitality of all kinds. And on Monday the 12th I will be going to the pub myself and cautiously but irreversibly raising a pint of beer to my lips. We're also increasing the number of visitors to care homes from one to two to allow residents to see more of their loved ones. We think that these changes are fully justified by the data, which show that we're meeting our four tests for easing the lockdown, as Chris will shortly explain. But, and you know I'm going to say this, we can't be complacent. We can see the waves of sickness afflicting other countries, and we've seen how this story goes. We still don't know how strong the vaccine shield will be when cases begin to rise, as I'm afraid that they will. And that's why we're saying, please get your vaccine or your second dose when your turn comes. And please use the free NHS tests, even if you don't feel ill. Because remember, one in three people with this virus doesn't have any symptoms. And you can get these tests from your pharmacies, from pharmacies or uh, your local test site. You can even order them on gov.uk and get home deliveries. As part of our roadmap, we're also publishing today on gov.uk the early thinking on our four reviews on the safe return of major events, on social distancing, the potential role of COVID status certification and on the resumption of international travel. We set out our roadmap and we're sticking in it. And I want to stress that we see nothing in the present data that makes us think that we will have to deviate from that roadmap. But it's by being cautious, by monitoring the data at every stage, and by following the rules, remembering hands, face, space, fresh air, that we hope together to make this roadmap to freedom irreversible.